Good morning, John. It is Friday, May 21st. I've been a lot of things in my life. I've been a biochemist, I've been an environmental blogger, I've been a social media consultant, I've been a videographer, I've been a Walmart associate. But for a long time there, I was a professional web developer. I still get people ask me all the time, Hank, can you help me set up a website? And so to all of those people who want me to help them with their website, here's a video. I'm gonna show you how to set up a website in three minutes and 30 seconds. All you gotta do is do what I do, and you will have a website by the end of the day. All you need is three minutes to do the work, and about eight $80. Making a website has always been the first step in a realization of an idea for me. Once I get it out onto the internet, I feel like it has a life of its own. So I feel like it's just an important thing to be able to get a website up online really fast. So let's do that right now. Almost always the first thing I do is go to bustaname.com so I can figure out what domain names are available because there's lots that aren't. This is my domain name brainstorming place. You just type in your domain name and it'll tell you if it's available and once you have your domain name, you head over to anhosting.com. Now you could register this domain name with GoDaddy, but anhosting actually gives you a free domain name along with your hosting. I've always been very impressed by AN Hosting and their parent company. This has been my go-to place for startup hosting for like five years or so. I never have to wait for customer service and there's very little downtime. And they are cheap. So I'm leaving pretty much everything on the default option here except I'm changing to 12 months because I don't know whether or not this idea is going to be worth anything in 12 months from now. So I generally don't like to pay for two years in advance though it will save you 40 bucks if you do do that. Do do. Now comes the time when I type in all my personal information and credit card information, so if you want to steal my identity, too bad, I'm gonna cut this out. Now here's one of the parts where you have to wait. AN Hosting is now setting up the hosting account and linking it with the domain name. That actually takes a little bit of time. They say it can take as long as 24 hours, but I've never had it take longer than two hours. During this downtime, I'm going to tell you that AN Hosting, in addition to being a great service that I have used for years, also has an affiliate referral system. So if you sign up through the link in the description, I will get a referral fee. If you don't want me to get a referral fee, then don't click on the link in the description. Though honestly, that doesn't seem very nice. Okay, now some time has passed and I have received my welcome email from AN Hosting. We will be doing all of the setup through cPanel. So all I have to do is click on the cPanel link, copy over my username and password, and I'm inside cPanel. Now, to set up a really great, really powerful, really simple website, everyone these days is using WordPress because WordPress kicks ass. And AN Hosting has a one-click WordPress installer called Softaculous. It's at the bottom. You click on it, you click on WordPress, fill in the things that you see me filling in now with the information that you want to put in those places. The only thing I will mention here is to make sure that your in directory, which is the third thing down, is blank and not WP, which is the default. Click install and literally moments later it is installed. It is done. You can go to WP admin, which is your admin screen, and you can log in with the username and password that you just created. Now what you've got here is a working WordPress site, but the default theme isn't very interesting. So I'm going to search for WordPress themes in Google, and I've come up with a WordPress theme database thing, and you can scroll through these and look forever and try and find your best theme, but I'm just going to choose the most popular one because the most popular one must be good, right? So I have now downloaded that file. Now I'm going to go back to my cPanel, click on File Manager, make sure that I'm in my public HTML slash www directory, click on WP Content, and then Themes, and then upload that file that I just downloaded into the Themes directory. Now I click on the checkbox and expand that zip file, and the zip file is expanded into the Themes directory, and the theme is ready to be installed. All you have to do is go to your WP Admin, click on Appearance, and select your brand new theme, and it is all installed for you. Sweet! And you've done it! Less than four minutes of work and we got a beautiful working WordPress site at 4minutesite.com. I really enjoyed doing a how-to video. Maybe we should do next week as how-to week. If there's something that you want to learn how to do that you think John or I know how to do, 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 how to do it, leave suggestions in the comments. John, I will see you on Monday.